Okay, so we've looked at the electrophilic addition uh, to alkenes by HBr and by bromine that had an induced dipole. And now we want to look at um, addition by concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, concentrated sulfuric acid is an oily liquid um, and it will have this covalent structure here um, as long as no water is added. Of course, if water is added, then um, what happens is the uh, H2O, right? what happens is that goes onto there and that goes onto there. Same happens on this one here. So you end up with a sulfate ion and you end up with two lots of H3O+. Okay, so that's what happens if you add any water, but we're not talking about dilute sulfuric acid. That wouldn't work. We're talking about concentrated sulfuric acid. How does this work? Right, now, uh, oxygen is a very electronegative element, isn't it? So what you're going to have here, you are going to have a, sorry, you're going to have a, uh, a partial negative charge on the oxygen and a partial positive charge on the hydrogen. The same on the other side as well, but we'll just look at one of them. And so uh, this is going to act as the electrophile. Okay, so um, just remember your structure of sulfuric acid. It's a bit of an ungainly thing to sort of write down all the time, but it's important to remember it. Sulfur, group six, it's forming how many bonds there? It's forming six bonds. It's allowed to have more than eight in its outer shell because it's in period three. Um, on the periodic table, so the third shell. Um, right, so let's draw what's going to happen there. So here is my alkene. Let's do, let's just have ethene. Right, now, uh, this hydrogen here is the electrophile. So what happens is that will be this hydrogen We'll get closer and closer to the double bond, to the pi bond. Eventually, it will um, the pi electrons will jump onto the hydrogen, and the pi bond will break. So the pair of electrons goes onto that hydrogen. That hydrogen is now forming too many bonds. So um, this bond here shrinks back, forms a lone pair on the oxygen. So what we have here, um, right? We have got. Let's draw the alkene first. We have got. A hydrogen, a new hydrogen, the black one, has been added onto that carbon there. We'll say, okay, and sorry, that should be blue now, shouldn't it? Um, you've got two hydrogens there, and don't forget that this is the car. This is a carbocation. That carbon has got a positive charge on it. Yep. Yeah. And we've got the hydrogen sulfate ion left over. So I'll draw that out in full. Um, so that's going to be like this. And that's going to have a negative charge on that. Okay, sometimes that is written as, it gets confused me, it's H S O H S O. Uh, three. Oh, actually, most people draw it. I told you it confused me. Um, you can draw it something like that. H O three S O minus to show that you've got the negative charge there. I'll draw it out in full. Save confusion. Right. So then, what happens next is just like the bromide ion reacted with the um, with the carbocation here this is going to react with it so it's exactly the same uh, that lone pair goes onto there okay so draw the intermediate the intermediate is I'll draw it down here it's a bit of a cumbersome looking thing the intermediate is going to what's the the product is going to be like this hydrogen that's come from the sulfuric acid and here we have got O um, S O H 
double bond oxygen there. Okay, now, uh, so you get this this sulfonated intermediate, this sulfonated compound here. Now, why do they want us to know about this? Is because uh, this used to be quite an important way of making alcohol. So you'd get ethene, react it with concentrated sulfuric acid, you'd end up with this sulfonated compound, and then you react that with water and you end up with alcohol. Now we don't actually need, to, you need to know the mechanism up to here. So I'll write that down, okay. So everything after here, you don't really need to know it, but it's it's quite useful to know it, um, and it's not that difficult. Okay, so what what that that compound was then reacted with water to form ethanol, and then you regenerate the sulfuric acid. So the sulfuric acid in this whole process has just acted as a as a catalyst. So let's see how that reacts with water. So I'll draw um, water in here and red. Okay, now. This oxygen is going to be delta positive, this carbon, sorry, is going to be delta positive because it's connected to the uh, electronegative oxygen. And so the lone pair on the, the lone pair on the water uh, is now going to attack that, okay. So that attacks that carbon and it's a nucleophilic substitution reaction because that goes there that carbon's forming too many bonds, so this bond breaks, so that pair of electrons goes onto the oxygen there. Okay, so if I draw what we've got there, the next is we have got the ethene, right, the sulfonated intermediate is gone. Um, should be a black car hydrogen. We've got that, and we've now got water stuck on there. And we have formed, and we've released the hydrogen sulfate ion, which I'll draw here. I don't like that. That bond is not in the right place. That's much better. Okay. And that's going to be O minus on there. Okay. Now, uh, conservation of charge. Once again, we have got a neutral sulfonated compound. We've got a neutral water. Uh, we have got a negative hydrogen sulfate ion. So that somewhere there, there's got to be a positive charge on it. You can probably guess where the positive charge on is. It is on the oxygen. So oxygen is forming three bonds. Okay, then the final step in the mechanism is we just need to show one of these hydrogens dropping off. Okay, so we could really it would probably react with some, it would react with water. The water would pick up this H and form H3O plus. We're not going to show it, we're just going to show it uh, simplified as the pair of electrons is going to go out of that bond, it's going to go back to the oxygen. So our final compound is going to be ethanol. Here is our ethanol. Um, so we're going to have that. This is from the water. And we're going to make an H plus. So you can see essentially these two things together. You've got H plus and HS of four minus that is sulfuric acid you have regenerated the sulfuric acid sulfuric acid uh, so the sulf so the sulfuric acid uh, is acting as a catalyst it doesn't get permanently changed okay so um, that you need do need to know that uh, that sulfuric acid can act as an acid catalyst uh, in the later topic on alcohols but I thought we might as well put it in here now Okay, so 
we'll leave it there and show it all in one lot together there you can see the whole mechanism so uh, we've got sulfuric acid reacting with the ethene makes the carbocation reacts with the hydrogen sulfate ion forms a sulfonated intermediate then that reacts with water releases the sulfuric acid and makes ethanol okay so that goes into the next topic the alcohols topic as well a little bit there